Hi there. It's time to read another chapter from our book, Toys, and this chapter is Mr. Potato Head. Straw wrappers poofed into orbit. Black olives, the ends of little fingers. Green peas flicked across the table. As a parent, George Lerner had seen every trick, every stunt, every possible way a child can play with food and there didn't seem to be any hope of stopping the antics. Begging, yelling, scolding, reasoning, punishing, so far, nothing had worked. Then it happened. One night, right in the middle of a mealtime monkey business, George suddenly had an idea. Instead of trying to get his kids to stop playing with their food, he played with his two only he'd do it a little more civilized way. After gathering bits of junk food from around the house, George grabbed a few potatoes and joined his kids at the table. Into a potato went two bottle caps for eyes, a row of thumbtacks made a metal mouth, and a strawberry on a toothpick made a silly clown-like nose. Bingo, just like that. George went from grumpy old spoiler of table time fun to the leader of the gang. In 1950, George was a model maker at a toy manufacturing company. After his brainstorm, he started molding all kinds of plastic doodads, ears, eyes, noses, hats, mouths, and mustaches. With the sharp little prongs in the back, they could be stuck into different kinds of fruit and vegetables, potato being the best, to create funny faces. Over and over, George Lerner tried to sell his funny faces for a food kit to toys companies. None of them were interested. More than two years passed before a breakfast food company bought George's idea. Their plan was to make little packages of the funny faces, pieces, and give them always premiums in cereal boxes. George signed a contract selling his idea for $5,000. At first, George thought he had made a good deal, but then several months later, he got a phone call from the owners of Hasbro Industries, a toy company that specialized in making play doctors and nurses kits. The owners, Henry Hassenfield and his son Merrill, had seen the Funny Faces cereal box premium and they wanted to talk with George. Henry and Merrill told George how much they liked his idea. They explained that the company wanted to expand his product line and that his toy was just the sort of thing they were looking for. They wanted to buy the idea and form a partnership with George. But there was one problem, a big problem. George explained that he had sold all the rights to the cereal company. Henry moaned and Merrill groaned, but the father-son team didn't let the matter drop. They contacted the cereal company and made them a terrific offer. George would give back the $5,000 and the Hasbro company would add another $2,000. The agreement was quickly reached and for a sum of $7,000, the cereal company sold the rights to George Lerner, who then went into partnership with Merrill and Henry Hassenfield. George went on to become a millionaire and so did the Hasselfields. When Mr. Potato Head first hit the market in 1952, the toy consisted of hands, feet, eyes, and some smaller details. Parents had provided the body with the real potato. In 1964, he went plastic. Why? First, because the pieces for the potato were sharp and potentially dangerous. Second, people objected to wasting food. Mr. Potato Head soon became a family man. First, Mrs. Potato Head came into his life, and then eventually a daughter, Yam, and his son, Spud. For the most part, they were a very happy family, except sometimes the kids played with their food. So Mr. Potato Head fun facts are that Mr. Potato Head was the first toy ever advertised on television. Face parts are now five times larger than the originals made by George Lerner. And in 1987, Mr. Potato Head's pipe was taken away from him, and the big deal was made over his decision to quit. At the ceremony at the White House, his pipe was handed over to the Surgeon General of the United States. 
Today there is a fire rescue Mr. Potato Head, a police officer Sergeant Starch, and Mr. Party Spud, Darth Tater, and a host of other characters. Well that's it for Mr. Potato Head today and I hope you enjoyed the story and have fun playing with your Mr. Potato Head. And next week's story is about playing cards. See you all later. Bye-bye.